In this video we look at electrical timers, specifically on delay and off delay timers. Uh, this particular timer that we're looking at is based on the technology of an 11 pin relay, simply because of its contacts. And if you can see the front there, uh, almost similar, it's got a dial there with lights and the diagram would be on the top side uh, we can see there it's got 11 contacts and 2 and 10 specifically used for the supply as per a normal 11 pin relay as well and we are only using about five contacts one being a common so it's a total different supply or we can use the same supply depending on the voltage and we have one and four being a normally closed and we have one and three being a normally open for both timers so we will use an 11 pin base where these would plug in and this is why they are so similar in design to the 11 pin relay so in front there we have a little dial that would set up the the time whether it's for on or off delay and the no power delay off timer will have again one light in most cases and the delay on timer would have two lights, lights an indicator light and a light showing uh, for when the load switches So we have that design of the 11 pin and that will plug into that base. It only plugs in one way. You can see there's a little bit of an uh, indentation, uh, a key way, shall I say, on the base. It only fits in one way. So to understand this even better, you should have some experience with the relays and timers. So what I've done on the rig is I have used contact point number 4 as a load and on both contact 4 would be the red light as a load and then furthermore I have used also contact 3 which is part of my normally open and I've connected a load light to that point on the base as well and that would be my green light they both share a neutral and one would be the common in between the coil is supplied by a different supply and so I'm just showing that they are plugged in both of them and so the supply can be switched on for the lights as we will see here we've got the on delay timer function on top power coil the on and the off status contact status is at the bottom closed and open so moving forward we have the on delay the lights has got supply and if you look at the lights on the timer the red light just went on and the timer or the dial is set to 10 seconds and we will see what the coil does there we go so now until switched off it will stay like that so once it switched off the coil would cause the contacts to reset let's have a look at this again look at the red light the top one activate the coil So 10 seconds would go by and then the bottom light would come on with the green light, the red light switching off. There we go. That's the operation of the on delay timer. Until switched off, everything resets. Alright. So this video can be played back and you can just double check and see until you understand what's happening so next we look at the off delay timer and we'll do a similar exercise 
we will look at the operation of the coil on the right hand side and the contact function on the left there we go so I've got my supply on my lights and just look at the red light at the bottom switch it on immediately one and three close until the coil is released or has no power then the count will start there we go and that green light will stay on until zero is reached all right you can see that let's have a look at it again so I will activate the coil the red light will come on immediately one and three will close which will bring on the green light and that will be like that until I de-energize that coil of the timer which would happen um, and bring on a count so the count only happens when the coil loses its power complete different function to the on delay there we go